You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 343rd episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura where we're talking the <laughs> business of plumbing. Yeah, That's right. Is. Oh my goodness. What is Facebook trying to do to us? I, I just think uh, oh. with messages like this, uh, I don't Maybe think Facebook. I don't think Facebook is a fan. They literally hate us all right? right now. So but we're glad you're a fan and glad are, you're here. We're glad you're hey, here. Hey, if you're all about having a plumbing business, where well, we're talking how to systemize, stylize, Ooh. and most importantly, monetize your plumbing business, you are in the right place. All right. Hey, we have a great uh, episode for you tonight. All right. This is a question. All right. That I get asked often. Go okay. ahead, baby. I'm all right. How, how do I deal with okay. negative reviews? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't we're we're going to figure it out together tonight. No, okay. no. We're going to walk. We're going to walk through it here. Okay. I'm going to tell you um, what not to do. Okay. Which okay. is a trap that most of us fall into mm -hmm. and what, what you should do. Okay? okay. So stick around. All right. We're going to mm -hmm. cover that. It's okay. reviews are now a very important part of the That's process. Very, very important. Okay. So we got to mm -hmm. deal with hey, it. All right. But we're glad to have you here. Mm -hmm. Hey, already we have those that are uh, watching live type live in the comments. Let us know you're part of the live social audience with us here. We're Thank glad you. to have everybody here. Well, James is, are he's, our Aussie plumber from, oh, but he's in Phoenix. Yes. Okay, that's right. Right. See, you always confuse me on that. Uh, I'm thinking you're right. down under, and I'm like, man, he's watching in the morning, he's watching he's, at night. He's everywhere. He's James everywhere. is everywhere. Golly. All right. Love my shirt. Thank you, Ted. All right. I like Thank the shirt, you. too, Ted. I actually got, um, <laughs> I actually got right. this thinking I would wear it on our Valentine's Day show. We didn't have did, did Valentine's right. show. Right. Right. So, anyway. Um, but Let's have a look. At, and I did not buy this shirt for yeah. him. Hey, Jeff. Hey, no. <laughs> you know, I just want to me. send subliminal messages here, okay? <laughs> all right. He who mm -hmm. finds a wife, all right, mm -hmm. finds a good thing. Mm. It's wisdom. Does all right, there we go. Agree with that. Um, you should. If you agree with that, you should tag your your better other. Mm -hmm. All right. And you better be doing it. There we so, go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hey, again, if you're watching live, type live <laughs> in the comments. Okay. If you're watching the replay, please type replay Hi, in the comments. Let us know you caught the replay. And mm -hmm. if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Just keep on listening. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Micah. All right. What is a negative review? All right. Well, well you'll gosh, see. I, you don't have any. That's good. Well, no. Well, you're gonna. No, that means you're you small. Will at some okay. Point. Um, yeah, you will. Haters okay. are gonna hate. There we go. Yes, mm -hmm. they will. Mm -hmm. All right, Bobby is alive in Jersey. Good to have you here, Jersey Bobby. Boys. Bobby and Val. Ty, we we just saw Ty six one five plumbing and mm -hmm. his Nashville. All right, mm -hmm. he was lucky to find what he has. Okay, that's right. All right, mm -hmm. there's six one five plumbing in Nashville, Nashville Tennessee. Tennessee. If, you're, right. if you're a plumber and looking for a great company to work for, and you're in Nashville, it's the place to he's be. He's your guy. Man, they are sharp. If I was a Gotta plumber, I lived on. in Nashville. That's where I'd work. That's where I'd be for sure. I'd that's work right. For sure. All right. So. Ashley, Dan, and I are are live. <laughs> still that's still right. Good. Along. Still chugging along. Always. It's good to have you guys here, um, Caleb. Ka oh, Caleb. Yes. Remember Caleb? Yes. Remember Caleb was the topic of the whole show once. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Found a great thing, Lisa. Oh, yes. good for you, man. Mm -hmm. And from what I can tell, All you're right. exactly right. Kelly Ball. I agree. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, you guys are so smart. Okay. So smart. Good to have everybody here. Yeah. What's, what's up, up, guys? guys? Good year, plumbing. All right. Hello, good good year. year. Good to have you here. All right. Good year, it's good to have you here, baby. Thank you, honey. All right. It's been a good day here. Yes. We had a coaching day. HVAC Masters of the Hustle is here. Okay. All right. Let's nice. go. Jason. All right. Um, We're going to talk reviews here. Stick around, man. Mm -hmm. What did you okay. say to me? I'm sorry. It was a good day. We had, we had coaching coaching we calls did? today. Mm -hmm. Had all our favorites today. Yes. Okay. And I have to ask the question because I've seen a couple times. Are we glitching again? I want to know because I just saw us uh, get hung up for a bit. So let us know if we are. If we are, we're just, we're never going to be on Facebook again. Um, Ryerson uh, Plumbing We're working Phoenix. on the app. We're working on the app thing. We are. Okay. So we're not tied to. Right. Yeah. See, look, it's, right. we're cutting video. Yep. Is video getting cut out, guys? Let us know. Type something in the comments if, if your videos are going down. If, if we are, it's it's going to be Facebook's yeah. issue, unfortunately. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the cookies were the bomb, by the it, way. Chris That's Copeland. right. <laughs> yeah, they looked good. Uh, <laughs> oh, tempting, danger, tempting. Danger. Yep. Um, okay, so. Yeah. Wait, question yes. for you. We do have a question for okay. everyone tonight. As we head into, you mm -hmm. know, how do I deal with negative reviews? Mm -hmm. The question I have for you is, okay. are reviews part 
of your purchasing decision. Mm. Okay, so when you buy something, do you look at reviews? Right, do you go online and look at reviews? Amazon right. or right. maybe a car repair place or right. dry cleaner, whatever it might be. Right. Do you, restaurants, right? Do you go look at reviews? You, Is that you, an important part right. of your decision? You're like, meh. Right, mm -hmm. or do you glance at them? What do you do with it, okay? I mean, mm -hmm. are, they, are they part of your process? Let us know. Right. Okay, I'm trying yes. to think, you know, we, uh, you know, We've been around long enough. We remember where they're, you know, in business. We were, there weren't reviews. They had and comment cards at the restaurants with little boxes. Right. Right. Oh, and here's a little funny story. Yeah. Actually, um, <laughs> thank you, Caleb. Thanks, guys. Appreciate yeah. it. Um, so my first job was at a restaurant, um, fast food restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. And you had the comment cards. I don't know if anybody remembers this, but they'd have a comment card box up on the wall with a little lock on it, yeah. right? And they had comment cards on the table and you could leave and put it in the box, right? Um, yeah. No, you don't tie, stop uh -huh. that. So anyway, we had a manager that was terrible. I mean, he was a cusser and he was just rude. Well, every night, he, and he didn't have the key, just the GM had the key, he didn't. He would stand on a chair, because he was a short little guy, stand on a chair and with his knife, pocket knife, he'd be pulling out the comment cards because he knew people were leaving bad reviews about, about him. <laughs> so I don't think I've ever told him that story. He'd pull them oh. out and... I, I was knowing you. I was thinking you were putting bad reviews about him oh. <laughs> in the box. Oh. Huh. Oh. That sounds like something I would have done, yeah. but I did not. So anyway. Well, well back in the day, you know, with our plumbing company, you know, mm -hmm. we used to we used to hand out, you know, those the review cards mm -hmm. or whatever, and that that was the thing. Right. Okay. Yeah, we um, the plumbers would give it out to the customers, and we'd have a little stamp Sarah on says it. She always looks at reviews. Always looks. Of course, you yep. do. Um, yeah. So. That was you know, that was a long time ago. That right. was before the internet. Right. Really. You know, the, the comment cards were always mm -hmm. around. Lisa says yes. Mm -hmm. I searched positive and negative reviews for other companies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at other. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. Ashley, mm -hmm. yes, but I take everything with a grain of salt. We <laughs> you learned know what? that. We As now, business owners, we now yes. right. Uh -huh. Okay. We'll we'll talk mm -hmm. about That's that. Funny. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Mike, I don't generally check reviews. Mm -hmm. My wife does all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe maybe There's, it is more of a. Is it a girl I, I mean, thing? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, thing? I, don't I don't know if it's a, a trans thing or a girl. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> it's... <laughs> or whatever you identify with thing. I, mean, I don't know. Already I, I know right? Facebook already hates I'm there on Facebook. Stop. <laughs> Golly. Okay, just in case we all of a sudden are disappeared, go to themilliondollarplumber.com, click on the show tab, and... And you can find us there. We'll be there. Okay. All right. Mm. No, but I think it is because it is, um, you know, that... Um, that is kind of a female trait of mm -hmm. of being more aware of um, like um, of searching out and search, and, yeah, that kind yeah. of thing and taking mm -hmm. a lot of guys we just don't care. <laughs> I mean, what others think. <laughs> I mean, it's right. Well, um, do you? I, no, I do don't. Do you look at reviews? No. Really? I mean, I can't help but see them now. I mean, they're so they're placed there, so mm -hmm. I'm aware of them. Mm -hmm. But that's not something you seek out. No, not, not something I seek out. Really? And also, I, I don't necessarily. I mean, we've been around the block so many times with this mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. you know, you, well, as Ty said, you wish you could mm -hmm. purchase them. A lot, a lot of companies do. Mm -hmm. That's you know very true. that that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. And so there's there's that going on. And I don't know. I still do like on Amazon. I do. I, I do notice. I have to admit that psychologically, if I see the you know, I'm I'm looking for 4.5 and above. Mm -hmm. I may not go in and read, mm -hmm. but I'm looking for 4.5 uh, and above. Okay. So if I see something that's below four, mm -hmm. it's yeah. I'm yeah, I don't uh -huh. I don't even right. Hmm. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um, and I like to see see review, but not five point five point oh. I like to see at least a bad one and how it was taken care, care of. of. Right. Yes. Exactly and that would kill. Right. I want to hold on that that thought here because mm -hmm. that's an important thought. That's how customers think. Mm -hmm. We don't trust something that's just totally perfect. perfect right. Mm -hmm. Because we know we're not perfect. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, especially on Amazon. How, how did we were just saying the other day? How how did we survive before without Amazon? I don't even know. I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. literally, there was some. I don't know how Amazon survived without <laughs> us. Literally, I mean, we get the doorbell rings every. In fact, we we're with our you know our home. We, we get the Amazon comes in and ring the doorbell. You know how they do that? Ring the doorbell when mm -hmm. the package is there, mm -hmm. and we're on you know Zoom, Zoom and all with, with our clients and, mm -hmm. our, and the ones that have dogs. We always make their dogs bark. Jordans. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's Lucy, right? Right. Their dog named Lucy. Yeah, Lucy always barks at it. Okay. Anyway, I don't know how we survived. Something random the other day. I needed. I'm like, I don't want to run to the store. I just. Da da da, went on Amazon and got it the next day. Crazy. Nice. So, um, Lisa says, I'm looking at reviews to understand the product better, but I'm a research gal. I just want to know what a rating, what, want to know what a rating is less than 4.6. 
4.6 even. Zero. Not 4.5, but 4.6. 4.6. Mm, okay. What about 4.62? <laughs> <laughs> well, see, yeah. and it's the gals. Yeah. I think that probably is a thing. Yeah, it, there is a thing there. Mm, for there, sure. There is a thing there. So, hey, um, yeah, and also, you know, we shamelessly like to plug ourselves. <laughs> Million Dollar Plumber in the show. One thing Facebook does like, they don't like shirts like this, but they do like when people give us likes and hearts and all kinds of things. So if you feel so inclined, those if you like bombs So if you agree with this, all right? Oh, there you go. Please, please give some me, hearts. Yeah, give me some love, yeah. okay? Give me some love. Some love. Okay? Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. And like and share. You want to start okay? the show? There we go. All right, mm -hmm. well, let's hit it, okay? okay. How, oh, how, thanks for all the loves, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I see mm -hmm. it there. All right. <laughs> Hey, so uh, how do I deal with negative reviews? Mm -hmm. Okay, how do I deal with negative reviews? Okay. All right, number one. Okay, we make this easy, right? Number one, <laughs> all right? Negative reviews are inevitable, okay? Mm -hmm. They are inevitable, okay? You're gonna get a negative review. Haters if, gonna hate. Right, if, you're, if you haven't got a negative review, you're either too small or you're not doing anything, mm -hmm. okay? All right, yeah. but you're gonna get a negative review. Mm -hmm. Chill. <laughs> Relax. You know, we deal with our Take clients who go, right, who get mm -hmm. the negative review. And of course, the negative review always comes in, question, you know, Michael. that, you know, you're from Satan, <laughs> you know, and they're, you're, you know, you're stealing from everybody and What's robbing from. Well, they always come, it's always that hard attack. So mm -hmm. your first negative review, even so, mm -hmm. is, you know, it's a big deal. Yeah, it's not like, well, they really weren't that good. It's mm -hmm. usually, yeah. you know, I hate you and your, I your devil die. spawn or right. something, mm -hmm. you know. They're going to go on and on. Fall off right. the of the earth. Yes. Right. right. Okay. Um, Micah says, do you ask your customers to leave reviews? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And we're going to cover that here in just a minute. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But negative reviews are inevitable. Okay. As, <laughs> as you grow. Okay. You know, and as you get, it's a little bit of a numbers game. Mm -hmm. Okay. The more, more you get out there, um, you know, the more the odds of something, you know, of that you actually doing something mm -hmm. wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Or... Or just coming across a crazy, okay? I call them consumer terrorists. Yes. Okay, it's a, a you know a term that I've you did coin that, I I believe, right? Yes. Consumer terrorists. Mm -hmm. There are consumers who are looking to blow you up. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are looking to use the review system to threaten you yep. to get the, be the best price. Mm -hmm. Okay, or whatever. Or whatever. Or they just they're just angry, you know, Karens and Kevins. And they're just looking to they're just looking to hurt you mm -hmm. because they're unhappy with their lives. Right. Okay. They're out there. Okay. Yes. So the more the more people that you serve, mm -hmm. the odds are you're gonna come across bad people. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Okay, it's just in, there. In all areas, but yeah, especially Especially when you own a business, right? So it's just—it's just, it's just part of service. Mm -hmm. It's a—it's one of the dirty little secrets of being in the service industry yes. or, or being in business, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. there, there are, you know, just like you know, in the academy, we have, you know, one of the uh, one of the modules is the right customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. There is the bad customer. Yes. Okay. The wrong customer. Right. And mm -hmm. these, you know, there you're going to get bad. You're going to get bad customers. Mm -hmm. They're bad people. Okay, hateful, yes. bad people. Okay. We always said, like before, we said five percent of the population are just crazy, and you can't, you cannot um, yeah. satisfy yeah. them at all. So you cannot please every customer. Thank you, BJ. Right on. Um, and I think that's gone up from five percent. Right. I think it's there's more. I think it's more like ten percent now. You where know. they're just impossible to deal with. There's no reasoning with them. There's you, there's no way to make them happy. Whatever. Right. So okay. Mm -hmm. But no matter what, with with the with the reviews, the bad mm -hmm. reviews, you've got to stay on top of it. Yes. Oh, okay. Most assuredly. You got to you, you know you got to stay on top of. It. You can't hide. Mm -hmm. There is you know. There was a time, you know, there is part of me that just wants to ignore it. Maybe it'll go away. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Or, honey, we handle this for you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> They're mean to me. <laughs> have anybody seen any of our posts and things that we have out there? Right. Um, and see some of the comments. <laughs> I just. Hi, yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, you know, <laughs> hey, and the more, hey, getting bad reviews, mm. I want, this is a little, look at it as a good thing. It's a good thing because for every bad review, bad review mm -hmm. even the one that leaves a bad review, there's you know there's there's twenty, thirty, forty, fifty others mm -hmm. that that you served that didn't even leave a review mm -hmm. that liked you, yes. that still like you. They just didn't they didn't go through the process mm -hmm. or whatever. So you know we, you know we we look for like in our side of things, you know, social or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know the more haters you get is actually a sign of mm -hmm. you're doing uh, something. You're growing. Mm -hmm. You know. Yes. So. 
Um, yes. And if things in the boat as well, yes, I check reviews, make sure that they're valid. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Okay. So, but you do want to respond immediately. Okay, so when you, you get that bad review, mm -hmm. okay, we'll talk about how to respond to it. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. you do want to respond immediately. You do. And immediately means, you know, on a day or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't, <laughs> you just don't want to just leave it out there uh, because I think it was Aaron who said, I like to read what the response, you know, that mm -hmm. you see with any bad review or whatever. Right. You know. Well, how the, co how the company respond. Right, and mm -hmm. how the company responded. Correct. Okay, which leads to our mm -hmm. number two point. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Number two, bad reviews can show gaps in our system. Mm -hmm. Each, Each review has the potential to be a learning opportunity. Boy, Lisa's very, good. Very good point. Yeah. Okay, you can look at look at it that way. Lisa, so. you need us both for a raise. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't I'm tell them we told you that. Don't. Okay. All right. Okay. But number two here. All right. You want to speak to prospective customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So when you respond to that bad review, okay. Don't don't get in there and get all defensive, okay? Uh, um, don't don't argue, okay? Don't relive or rehash the job of what they may have said or what what right. you said or what you, yeah you whatever. said this we, we, that we ought, that we did this uh, well that is untrue and you say we didn't do this but we did remember because I have your signature here that you did right. this and that mm -hmm. don't do that mm -hmm. okay don't don't um you know don't defend anything don't mm -hmm. get in that kind of uh, um, Tip for tat. Right, mm -hmm. you don't do that kind yes. of thing. Do you okay. have a blanket statement reply or is it obvious that a human is responding to the bad review? Yes. That drives me crazy. Yes, of course. Yes, okay. Um, so you're going you're gonna to respond back, again, with, with the thought that I'm speaking to pers per, uh, prospective customers. By the way, you know, a lot of times if you notice your bad reviews, they look different than the good reviews, not just that they're, they're negative, okay, mm -hmm. and not in, a, you know, not in a good light, but mm -hmm. a negative light, you know. Um, but they usually sound a little crazy. Okay, or they sound don't, like they're spitting right. Nails. Don't don't use these people. They're the spawn of <laughs> Satan, and they came out and did this and kicked my dog, and they, they should be you know in prison, and you know they go right on and go, and it's it's like if you ever seen a, you know an mm. argument mm. or. Um, you know anything that's you know confrontational. Toby, uh, we're going to answer when, that. when you're not when you're not in the situation. It looks on the outside. It looks ugly. Mm -hmm. You know it, it looks ugly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so reviews from others just coming into the situation. Um, it looks whoever's writing that. Okay, or the, those words and all. It looks it looks ugly. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks ugly. Like oh, this guy's kind of being a jerk okay. or right. whatever. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Most people will think that way. This person, right. yeah. So if you come at it as you, know, you start sounding like a jerk, then they can go, oh, okay, I see what happened. There's right. something. There's something going on here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you come back mm -hmm. and you know, you know, sorry, sorry, Mrs. Jones, that we were able to meet your needs. Mm -hmm. You know, um, please give us another opportunity to serve you. Mm -hmm. You know, blah blah blah. You know that. You know, and then call it a day. Call it a day. Right. Okay. Get out. Mm -hmm. Don't don't try to go into all the explanation of why you charge what you charge, you know, and how you had to go three <laughs> states know? over to pick up the water heater. <laughs> Do you know how much and, insurance is, lady? Right. Okay. <laughs> it never, ever, never works. It okay. It does not. Because okay. no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're already mad. So whether no matter what they're talking about, price, um, you know. Even even if they did, you know, uh, the guy did mess up the carpet or something like that, and that's what they go on about, mm -hmm. you know, you know, we're, we're sorry, you know, um, apologize for that incident. Okay, I'm glad that we could get ABC Carpet Cleaning out to you the next day to get that taken care of, and hopefully they they did a great job for you. And please give us um, another opportunity to serve you again. Yes. Um, even if you're going to put them on the no call list, okay, no or no serve list, right? Okay, if it's a customer that really, mm -hmm. the whole situation, you knew up front, you know, the, you got into it, this is a customer literally from, you know, H-E-L-L, -L. okay, hockey sticks, hockey sticks right, <laughs> um, if, if that's it and you're going to, you know, put them on the no serve list, mm -hmm. you know, always respond, you know, please give us another opportunity to serve you. Again, you're speaking we to won't, though, but... prospective customers, okay. We hope you find a plumber that better fits <laughs> your budget. <laughs> yes, good luck. Right, right. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. but that the key here in the response, again, is to speak like you're speaking to prospective customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, and don't try to educate this customer on how they are wrong. <laughs> okay, because right. they're not going to come back and go, "Oh, right. you're right, Mr. Business Owner. I was being completely unreasonable. You are right. Thank you for 
right. clearing this up <laughs> and setting me straight. Out. Never have you, have you never had anyone? Nope. Right. Okay. <laughs> Not once. All right. <laughs> Okay. And if you have, let us know. That would be right. You, the first. You be the one. <laughs> one person. Okay. Hey, well, I got you here. I got something for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Whether you're here live or catching a replay or listening mm -hmm. to the podcast. All right. Uh -oh. And that's my million dollar plumber <laughs> blueprint. Okay. Where I lay out every spec. All right. Mm -hmm. That you need to build a successful, self sustaining, and profitable, yeah, profitable plumbing business, such as mm -hmm. along the lines that we're talking about right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all in there in my, in my blueprint. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's free. All right. Simply type free in the comments mm -hmm. or go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free and grab your free million dollar plumber blueprint. Today. Today. All right. All there right. we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. how do I deal with negative reviews? First of all, know that negative reviews are inevitable. Mm -hmm. You're going to get them. You're going to get them. Brace okay? yourselves. You're going to get them. Relax. <laughs> okay. You're going to get them. All right. And then number two, all right, speak to prospective customers. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't, don't, don't get caught up in defending and, and trying to, again, educate the customer and how they're wrong and what really went down and how you're lying and ah, uh, <laughs> just, okay, get in there. Sorry, we, we, we weren't able to meet your needs. Mm -hmm. Please give us another opportunity to serve you again. Thank you so much for, you know. <laughs> thank you so much for that. Thank you so that. much. May I have another? <laughs> thank you. May I have another? You wonder what that's from? Uh-huh. All right. We're probably the only ones. <laughs> We're the only ones that do. Um, okay. Let's see. Micah says, complex and text are rarely worked out. Yeah. Oh, that's such, you're so right. Right. Because you text, okay, never mind. Right. Um, not ever a good idea to debate or argue via text. Certain things have to be dealt with verbally. Yes. Right. Exactly right. Yeah, don't. For one, you shouldn't be texting with a customer for the most part. Um, but yeah, something like that. There's no way to get across right. any type of, of solution. It was so. at least along along those lines. Um, don't don't ever call the customer with a bad review. You don't have to call a thing unless, mm. as an owner, I did call and talk with. Um, you know, if I got a bad review, if it was a job where we went south, mm -hmm. when I know. You know, with our system that Joe did this and it just kind of kept falling down mm -hmm. and all this. Like the backhoe took out a whole bunch of railing that was antique and can never be <laughs> replaced again. <laughs> and it was put in by the grandfather who's been dead. And, and he walks off the job <laughs> because he did that because he was scared. Remember, he walked off the job and, and the, they, they were bringing the wife home from the hospital that day oh, that's right. and he had no sewer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was devil spawn. <laughs> you were devil spawn. What is that one noise? Stick but, out. But because I, I took a whipping on that oh, one. Man. Yes. Yes. Thank you. May I have another? <laughs> and yes. you ran over my cat too. <laughs> right. Um, but that's uh, as Lisa said. Those are learning experiences. Mm -hmm. So you gotta you gotta have the courage to find out. You know how your system broke down and mm -hmm. how you know whether your system broke down or your tech just blew it okay. right and also if you've got um one technician who's getting a lot of bad reviews then you've got an issue that that, that will tell you right? right constantly getting a bad review about whatever whatever it is so right. you get a teachable moment or you've got a fireable moment exactly mm -hmm. and toby has a, has a great uh, great point here mm -hmm. i addressed a negative review and he turned out to be a great word of mouth person and repeat customer mm -hmm. exactly because of how you handled it right it's you, these even if you you know, just having them, some of these, even if they go off the deep end, for you guys, I, I relate to, you know, it's kind of a background story here thing, oh, but okay. for guys, you ever been in a bar fight? <laughs> you, you ever been in a fight or have you been in the service? I remember being in the nope. service and, you know, in the Navy and, you know, with the other group, we get in a, you know, you fight and you just had too much tequila and you're out, whatever. <laughs> okay. Golly. It's amazing after a fight, how all of a sudden now you're buddies. Hmm. Okay, a weird thing happens like that. It's possible what happens with customers. Mm. Even if they ha are having a bad day and they decide to take their day out on you, okay, and give you a bad review and all that kind of stuff and, mm. you know, swing at you and, mm. and, and you come back in a more positive manner. Mm -hmm. We've won customers that way too mm -hmm. because they've, they just feel, now they feel safe with you. And they feel heard. And they feel heard mm -hmm. and a little obligated now. Right. A little guilty for the good ones. The good ones that are just having a bad day. Right. See, that's another thing out that we, <laughs> there are people that just have, you don't know um, what they just spent on their car mm -hmm. or who may have really taken advantage of them roof, or what's, ha what's happening. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. you're the one that they just take it out on. Mm -hmm. Okay. That does happen as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but that is a good thing. That's why it's, it's so important just to always, 
you know, treat your customers, you know, kind of relax with your customers. Right. And not no take matter, it personal. No, right. Which leads to, that's which our, hard. Which oh, our that third was, point. Oh, right. Which sorry, is our third point. Shark. Okay. No, mm -hmm. it, it leads right to that. Okay. Which is, don't take it personal. Oh, see, I didn't even know that was your third point. Right. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that's a biggie. Mm -hmm. um, don't take it personal. Okay. You got to step outside the emotion, which mm -hmm. is tough. It's tough. Especially if you're a hothead like I was in the early days. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm talking about someone going off on, on you know, Attaboy Plumbing, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden I'm walking, because I know where they live, because <laughs> we were just there, and walking out, you know, <laughs> and uh, having words in the driveway, and all of a sudden the cops show up, <laughs> and all that. Hey, we're just talking here. <laughs> no, I have a license to carry that gun. <laughs> Oh, oh, not that that ever happened. Hey, sweetheart, um, <laughs> I'm down game? at the county. <laughs> uh, All right. Okay, our technician that gets the most reviews gets gets uh, the most reviews. Our technician that gets the most reviews gets, oh, I don't know, saying that. Both ones, ones and, and fives. fives. Oh, some people's personality is just that way. Huh, right. isn't that funny? Yeah. Hmm. And that, yep. Hmm. Okay. But key is not to take it take it personal. Okay, it's it's a very getting reviews is a very emotional thing. Mm -hmm. You remember when we someone's got someone's evaluating your you. Well, yes. well, there's also the thing of even when we did, the, did those comment cards. Mm -hmm. Remember we did the comment cards, mm -hmm. and we get a whole stack in. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a lot of cards. Mm -hmm. you know, all at one time, you know, a whole stack in mm -hmm. of you're the greatest. Our, the plumber you know, was great. We, we the, love you. The girl is in the office. We're great. I want to have your children. Showed up on time. Our plumbing's wonderful. We love Attaway Plumbing. You're not listening to me. I am. I, uh, <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> All right. And we'd get one card mm -hmm. out of a stack like this. <laughs> we'd get one card where, you know, you suck. Mm -hmm. And it was like, ah. Oh. Uh -huh. And that's you the know. one we focused on. And focused on for the, re for the yeah. rest of the week. Yeah. I mean, it, it just. <laughs> yeah. It was know? so dumb. We suck. Mm -hmm. This sucks. And we knew we didn't. Right. right. So that's what was hurtful. All right. Lisa mm -hmm. says if you if you as a as a business can be humble mm -hmm. and offer sincere apologies. Yep. And own up. up if you screwed up. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Customers mm -hmm. are looking to be heard. Yes. Underline heard is mm -hmm. very important. And that the reason they are upset is also validated. Right. They want sincerity. Mm-hmm. Right on, Lisa. Agreed. Hey, and gang, in today's in today's service world, it is so easy. Now I think customers are tougher. They're more cynical, mm -hmm. um, more upset. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, you know, I think they're more crazy. You know, that that, that crazy For number sure. is going. But mm -hmm. it is easier to be more um, to 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 provide that service mm -hmm. and to gain their trust. Yes. Um, by just doing Standing these kinds out. of by by doing these kinds of things. Okay. All right. And it helps again not to take it personal. Okay, personally, yes, because it's your business. Mm -hmm. You do all this work, especially if you know they're swinging at you by I mean, mm -hmm. telling lies. You know, you didn't do this, mm -hmm. and you're doing this, and you know, you're you're ripping people off, and ah, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know, and, and you know that that can attack. Yes, you got it. You just gotta let that run off you. Right. Somehow, guys, you really do. You're right. You, you have to figure out a way to let it go. And we understand it is hard. We get right. it. Um, but you're you're going to get bad reviews. Um, and to not take it personal, take it home, or if it's you and your wife, you know, plumbing power couple, and you know, kind of hashing over it and just being all upset, it's right. just, it's not worth it. It just isn't worth it. Focus on the hopefully dozens and eventually hundreds of other good reviews that you've got. That might be one good thing to do when you do get a bad review. Go out to your Google, your GMB, your LSAs, or wherever your reviews are, and just read some of the really good reviews that you've got and just um, reinforce and reiterate right. to yourself, okay, we do provide a good service. Yeah, maybe we screw up here or maybe the customer's crazy, whatever, but most right. everybody loves us. So. Take, you know, check out the review. A lot of times, even though they won't leave their name or something or whatever they're saying, you know, you can figure out oh, yeah. oh, you about know which, you know, which job it is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, take a look at it. Um, you know, did we do something? Mm -hmm. You know, you should always, you know, kind of just, you just look at it, you know, try to look at it in a sterile manner. Right. Uh, leave the emotion out. Right. Take yourself out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't do anything, 
And, you know, I was looking for the process of, especially when we're talking about price and that, that kind of stuff. I come back to that. Don't, don't get all worked up about that. Oh. I was looking at, um, did I, if I did look at it, I um, went in, I'd find out, did we offer the options? Mm -hmm. okay. Did we provide the service we say we're going did we, to provide? Did we provide all the service we provided? Mm -hmm. Did they sign? Did we get their signatures? <laughs> then th this person's a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're full of crap. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're thieves. Mm -hmm. They're liars, okay? Mm -hmm. That's not, I'm not going to take that on and be upset about that. Right. Okay, I'm going to respond, thank you, Mrs. Jones, all right, for, mm -hmm. for allowing us to serve you. I'm sorry we weren't able to meet your expectations. Please give us another opportunity to serve you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in this case, if they're a liar, they go on the no-serve list, okay? Mm -hmm. but and if it makes you feel better, type out a really, like, what you really want to say, you know, type it all out, <laughs> right. and then delete it, <laughs> and right. then... I learned, yeah, I mean, this, this was... Guys, I, you know, part, part of what we talk about here and we talk about in the academy and all that, of course we can tell you everything to do right. Mm -hmm. Really, our hearts is, is guys, learn from, uh, learn from me. <laughs> Don't be as stupid and hard-headed as I was I'm for just, such ooh, a period of time. Weird. We just got to focus. Okay. Um, all right. No, okay, notice how, notice how I did not say that. I know. Okay. I'm, just, I'm just saying, I want for the guys, okay? And this is a biggie with the guys. The, this is not the time to, you know, draw your sword and guns and go to war, okay? <laughs> Just let it run off your back. Because ultimately what we're looking for then is again, well, we had someone at 4.7, my, my, my number is 4.5. Mm. You know, some of the stats I've seen and even talking with, with Google, mm -hmm. you know, the Google experts and that kind of stuff, the consumer doesn't trust anything that's, that's perfect. Mm. 5.0, 4.9, the consumer, they're in, we found it in our, in our minds, we don't quite trust that. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, that there's no way because they know that people overall aren't that good. <laughs> okay. That some people are, you're going to mess up. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> because we're people. Okay. So as long as we could keep up that, you know, that 4.7, you know, that mm -hmm. that point. Okay. Flow right plumbing at 1:30 a.m. in the UK. Oh man. Our hey. mates from across the pond. All right, That's man. That's pretty fun. Have some warm milk or tea or something. And tea. Tea and crumpets. Get sleepy. Right. And, Is tea and, and crumpets get still a sleep. thing you gotta in work, the UK? you got to work in the morning, man. Right, but he's, right. he's I'm glad, dedicated. Well, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Yes. Yeah. So, and live. Gosh, everybody say hello to our mate from across the pond. Yes. That's pretty fun. Okay. Or um, only four-star review. And we, we never work for the guy. Oh, right. yep. uh, yeah. Guys, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, all right. <laughs> Crazy. People right. are just gonna be crazy. Okay, mm -hmm. but don't take it personal. Don't take it. And personal. I saw Joe, you, you, um, Joe Martinez, put something up and said that he got his first four star review and it was devastating. So, Joe, all right, gotta let it go. Okay, I had a bad review in some church website and did not even find it until a year later. Okay, God bless her. I tech told her the cats stink so bad. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. Bless right? her heart. <laughs> okay. Hey, you, you, hey guys, you, you're gonna you're gonna get the bad reviews. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. One way, right. and I forget who asked for it, um, if there's a service or something yes. to use that will post to all the different sites. Yes, Podium is one that, that um, we, we recommend. recommend. Yep. Um, there's lots of different ones out there. Podium, um, from you know, we've got a number of our clients that use Podium and, and love it. And yeah, they'll, they'll post to the different sites or offer up the different sites where you can leave a review. Obviously, Google's the first one that you want to be able to do. And their whole thing is, is automated, yep. works with service Titan as well. Um, and so as soon as the job is closed out or view goes out, because I think somebody else too said something about the toughest thing to do is to get your guys to ask for the review, right? So one thing, yep, there you go. Mm. How do you catch them even if they're in different platforms? Yeah, so Podium would be one. Um, one thing too to maybe set up. We have um, a link. We have a link for Podium. Um, if you go to um, themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Podium. P O D I U M podium. Okay. Um, or I think they're in our. If you just go to our, our web page, the yeah, plumber dot com, you can go to the power tools. Power tools section. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, they, they give a break for uh, to for, our. For uh, yes, if you mention million dollar plumber, right. you get some sort of discount. I'm not sure what it is, yep. but yeah, you do get something. Um, but yeah, main challenge is getting de the guys. Right. So setting up um, expectations from the beginning in the initial phone call as you're taking the information and right. you're wrapping things up. Say, and just so you know, Mrs. Jones, um, we do rely on um, reviews from our, our happy customers and we would love for you to give us a review. Your technician will give, me, give you information or you'll get a text message or whatever the process is and we really would appreciate you leaving a review for us. So setting that yeah. expectation up for the customer from the beginning. Um, and then it's training your guys to make sure that they do they do ask for them, right? So and staying on top of them, right? 
Or it, to do, I'm sorry, or to do the happy calls. Once you have a CSR, you can follow up with happy calls and ask for the review. Ask if the plumber did leave the information for um, how to leave a review. If not, then you've got a training issue with your plumber. But happy calls are one good way to to um, combat that. But reviews are now part of the, the buying, you know, buying process, mm -hmm. the decision making process and who they're going to call. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, you got to get them. And this is an area that you can beat the big guys. Yes. The big companies. Yes. Okay. So if you get focused on it, I mean, you, you can get, you know, mm -hmm. you can get reviews yes. and, and be on it and, and mm -hmm. can beat the big companies who aren't focused on it. Yes. Okay. And another thing too, guys, we've got the couple different Facebook groups that we've got. We've got the free one, which is the um, Plumbing Business Success Group, and that's just for plumbing business owners. Um, so if you've not joined that, go out and, and check that out, Plumbing Business Success Group. And that's a great place to ask questions. How do you get reviews? How do you get your guys to um, ask for the reviews? Mm. Whatever. Um, share ideas that way. And then we also have the private Facebook group for the Success Academy as well. Another great right. place to to post if but, you're a success academy but review, member. It's part of the game now, guys. Mm. So you've got to get it. the reviews. Don't hide from it. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be afraid of it. And you don't want to be upset by it. Okay? Mm. You're going to get negative reviews. Uh, be thankful for that uh, first you know, negative review. Or, you know, you're be, somebody now. Yeah, you're growing. Okay? <laughs> right. All right? Mm -hmm. All right? Again, speak to mm -hmm. prospective customers. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't get caught up in defending their, you know, what they said was wrong and all that. Other. Don't get all caught up in their yep. narrative. Correct. Okay. Don't, don't give, don't give okay. into their nerve. And yes, okay, Caleb just said Lisa made a QR code for our guys to ask for reviews. That's perfect. Right. The customer can take a picture of the code and sends them straight to the Google review. Amazing. Yes. So, okay, that just um, solidifies, yeah, um, Bo, you need to give Lisa a raise. Yes. Just saying. So there you go. Right on. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, but get get those reviews. Yes. Play that game. Mm -hmm. It ain't about plumbing, guys. <laughs> it ain't about plumbing. It does okay. Not. Mm -hmm. All right. So get it's those about reviews. About the business of plumbing. That's right. And, and if you want to learn more about the business of plumbing, she's segueing me out here. <laughs> All right. All right. You need to check out my Million Dollar Plumber <laughs> Success Academy. All right, where we teach everything you need to know about the business of plumbing. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Make this not just a job that you own. All right. But an asset that creates wealth for you and your family. Wealth and financial wealth mm -hmm. and time wealth. Living that freedom lifestyle. All right. There we go. I lay it all out there for you in the Academy. 12 easy bite sized modules, over 150 videos. Okay. It's all in there for you. Open coaching, uh, group coaching classes. Okay, private uh, Facebook group page, mm -hmm. all right, where I and others just like you hang out, okay, mm -hmm. and get, get more questions answered. So there you go. Hey. Simply type success in the comments mm -hmm. or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success, all right? 14 day free trial, no okay. excuse, do it, all right? And then go leave us a good review. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, all right. Hey, great having you here. Another great. Great episode here. So hey, but before I let you go, as always, I'm going to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created. You were created to do great things. So plumb like Thank a champion. You for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.